man. <laughs> I know I'm a day late on doing the review. I usually do these after the pay-per-view, like after it's done. But heck no, I had to, I had to go to bed. I had to take the things on my mind on what the heck that I just saw. And, oh my gosh. Well, guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the official FAF Famniversary 4 review. And I'm doing it for the competition, for the full membership. And uh, we're going to go analysis on this. Like, we're going to give it our all. This is going to be beyond probably 15 minutes. Every detail will be say on this video. Sadly, I have some bad news. As how much I wanted to say all this stuff, I try to put I try to put package videos of what happened last night to the phone and put, try to put it to the PlayStation. But sadly, my iPhone is being a jerk and it doesn't want that. But I think it's better for us. I think it's better for me to go ahead and tell you everything that I explained. And if you guys don't want to see, if you guys don't want to hear the spoilers i recommend you to leave i'll give you five seconds five four three two one and we're about to talk about this well ladies and gentlemen kicking it off fam anniversary four starting definitely definitely um a good start it's um starting off um the pay-per-view i should say is the tag team turmoil which i i knew a little bit top of my head that the tag team turmoil was gonna start right away. I, I just had a feel. I was like, yeah, I think it's gonna kick it off. But um, first we had the mafia and the researchers come out first. And let me just say that already interesting spot on point about I think either I think either Mexi or uh, see I forgot the other guy's name. So this is kind of hard for me to know both of these guys' name. But already to make it seem like he's taking off the mask, even though it's not a motion. On the entrances, it's already good already. <laughs> like, I didn't get, I don't understand how people can already think of that stuff. Like, it's crazy. Um, then we got the mafia that comes out, which um, you can tell a little bit. There was two differences on um, between the trailer and the um, well, the trailer and the pay per view itself, because the mafia was wearing different attires. From the trailer into the pay-per-view. So I, I, I like the fact that they changed stuff up to make it like, you know, not the same thing. But I think that was a good thing that they did. Um, but anyways, we're starting off with the Resurgence and the Mafia, of course. Um, Tony or Tiny Tony or whatever. I'm not sure what these guys' names because so much I, I... I mean, I like them, but I just... I don't like them as much as, you know, as people should, I guess. Um, Tony, big Tony, tiny, yeah, there we go, tiny, um, starts it off, he's doing great in the match and everything, but right away, he just, um, I think either Mexi or the other guy, see, I'm having trouble with these names, so I gotta find out what these guys' names are, um, Tiny gets ended up pulling off the ring, but not only he gets pulled off the ring, the man has freaking Tom Cushing underwear, which is uh pretty odd to me. Which I was like, oh no, they did not just do that. So Tom Cushing, I think you got a big fan there. You just gotta watch out for it. <laughs> but I I like the fact that they made um they made t um Tony say like oh go over there to the back. Your mom is watching this. She's gonna be disappointed at you, which that was great. That that was just, you know, he and Tiny just actually goes to the back, but they forget that the referee's counting. Tiny's taking his time coming back. Then poor freaking Tony has to take the three D, and it was it was over. Um, so the mafia ended up getting eliminated first. And yes, and before I get more into detail, I'm using these notes because. That's how much I pay attention. Uh, you can't even see it, but there you go. That's how much notes I have and pay attention on this show. Now, already, we already got the skill foundation. Oh, well, no, not the skill foundation. I'm sorry. Um, Lawrence Wilde and uh, the 2K creator. I'm not sure. Is he 2K creator? I'm not sure. 
He's summoned for WWE 2K. Brian Ford comes out with the review competition winner, which is Lawrence Wilde, which I do know Lawrence a bit. Me and him don't agree on, I mean, we don't agree on things right away. Let's just say we don't agree on a lot of things. But he made it to the big time. He made it, you know, he made his debut. Happy for him, as everybody, you know, should be happy for each other to make it to that. Um, well, let's just say this. During the match, it was so great, back and forth, but the only thing that was hilarious about the match was Brian Vore, hold on, we're freezing this, boop, he freezes the freaking thing all the time, and I call that BS, the man just, it's the 2K creator, you can use that as advantage, heck, he can even have an FAM World Heavyweight Championship match, and he can still use the 2K freezing screen just to win the championship. But other than that, they still came up short. Resurgence, um, Lars and Bryant uh, get eliminated by an error. Like, it was an error, but into an uppercut, which was actually pretty sweet the way how they did that. Um, the Sakel Foundation comes out next. Now, I would think that the champions would be the ones coming out last, but exception now they came out, now they came out. The, the third entry, which I thought it was weird to me. I, I would think that um, Scale Foundation would be the last one, but you got wrong. Um, great match between Resurgence and Scale Foundation. They never disappoint us when it comes to their tag team matches, especially when it came down back in the FAMI Awards. It was really that great, and I, you know, they know how to make a match look great. That's all it is. Um, but this time, out of freaking nowhere, the Skill Foundation get eliminated. I was like, bro, I thought it was going to be the Skill Foundation and the Britman going at it. Prediction wrong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so the Skill Foundation get eliminated by the Resurgence, by 3, I think 3D if I believe. And now here comes the Britman, which they're coming out in suits. And do they know the weather? I don't even care. I don't even know if they care about the weather. But then again, we have Eric that keeps using the knees. Like, I, he's a knee. I, I don't even know if I want to call him the Shinsuke knees of call or anything. But came out pretty good. Res I thought there was going to be a resurgence heel thing because due to the fact of one of the partners did not want to tag. And I'm here like, oh, re yep, heel turn resurgence are going to be no more probably. And, uh, yeah, it was just, it was weird, but, you know, Eric and, well, I, I don't know the both the guys' name, but I know the Britmen. The Britmen come out as tag team champions, which is congratulations to those guys. But, let, hold on, we're about to get to the opinion all the way to the end until this is over. Um, now, we have the Lance, Fris we have Lance Frisco versus Darren DeStardley contract ladder match. Wow. There were a whole... There were very good spots. What I mean by good spots... Here's what I'm about to say. These two... I mean, good start in the beginning. They know each other so well. They started out really good. What was the most brutal thing I've ever seen... Besides freaking Kingdom and Bash when they had their ladder match... Compare that to this one, because this one was more brutal. Oh my gosh. Freaking, I don't even know who got belly to belly. I think it was Darren that got belly to belly to the, uh, uh, belly. I don't know what you said. Belly, belly suplex on the ladder. That from the outside to the ladder. Oh my god, bro. That was so nasty. Like, it was good because it was like, holy moment. But, it was just... It was just freaking awesome to see. I have never seen that ever in a game. I mean, in the 2K game, as long as I've had 2K17. Um, now, there was a thing that Darren was climbing up the ladder. He was climbing up the ladder. I thought he had it, but Frisco freaking pushed it off. Like, he pushed off the ladder. This was clean, too. I actually like this. The money in the bank, because money, knowing the ladder matches the animation when you hang on, it makes you fall like that. But I like the idea 
that they on um, that Frisco and um Darren put that to um instead of the falling animation they put it they put Frisco doing the uppercut. Well done, clean sweep. It was just it was just a thing of beauty, just a thing of beauty. It was very nice. Um, another thing during the match that was whew, very brutal. Um, well, there was a lot of things that were brutal in the match. Um, Darren, when Lance jumps from the top rope, Darren catches him with the catching spear, but on the freaking stairs. Holy crap, what a spot that was. If you ask me about, the only thing the FAM is really good at is making the spots that you never think that will work, but it actually works. So that was crazy when he did that. The freaking spear on the stairs was amazing. Well done. Uh, another thing, I think Darren was just telling Frisco to get in the ring while Frisco was just, you know, taking out the announce table. But of course, we got a little flip off from Frisco, and Darren just does a springboard from the ring to the outside, a drop kick. To Frisco, but Frisco's head freaking landed on like at the edge right here of a announce table. How the man? How did that man's head not get cracked? <laughs> that was nasty. Um, now both men are on the ladder. They're fighting for that contract, climbing up, punch after punch. Um, another thing, I I even forgot that he set up the ladder outside the ring too. The best thing I've ever seen in that spot was the code breaker to the ladder. I think mostly on um, freaking, yeah, the Starling landing on that ladder. That was like the thing of beauty. That was beauty. I have never thought a spot like that could ever work. But it was well done. Frisco climbs up the ladder and he wins the contract. Couldn't believe it. My prediction was so wrong. Frisco proved me wrong. He still got it. Let's just move on from that. Frisco won. Now we have the straight on uh, the straight uh, straight edge triple threat. Sander, Andy Badwell versus Kill Switch. Now there was one thing I was very happy about this. Um. Thing when they were coming out. I mean, both men had good entrances, but Andy Badwell was thrown now. Whew. That got me happy. I'm like, okay, Andy. All right. Now using, because he, he was usually using Alex Riley's theme song, but I like the fact now he's going to bring out Throne, which was actually pretty great. I, I actually like that. I think uh, people in the party that was in with, uh, they actually enjoyed it too. Um, now... Another thing, um, that when the match starts, of course they're already jumping, um, bad, well, it's pretty much that's what's gonna happen if they're both men are tag team. Now, when Andy comes back, I love this, doing uppercut after uppercut after uppercut, and I, either Sander or, either Sander or, um, Killswitch caught him, but I think, I believe it was Sander, Sander caught him. Oh, uh, with the knee to the head, well, Andy has him in the headlock, but put it to a double knee backbreaker, which was very, very well done. I actually love that. Um, now, of course, both men are fight. Um, because now either Sander pinned, um, Andy first, then I guess on uh, kill switch was like, no, he broke it up, and he's gonna count. Now both men are gonna fight each other. They're like. Okay, now you want to play that role? Boom! Now both men are fighting each other. Sander and Killswitch, which I didn't think that was going to happen. I, I thought it was just going to be based on two-on-one situation, but no. Both men, in my opinion, this was sequence. I mean, we're not even talking about all... We're, we're not even halfway yet through the pay-per-view review on this. But in my opinion, this right here, that had to be sequence of the night. Sander and Kill Switch with that freaking combinations, the phenomenal blitz to the Samoan Bli um Samoa Joe combo, and uh, freaking German got right back up. German got back up. Oh my God, it was beautiful. 
Hold on, guys. I'll be right back because this uh, thing is about to stop. So give me a minute. Okay, we are back. But yeah, that sequence. Oh my god. I didn't even, they made it. And they did a, I gotta say, they really, really did a good job to make it seem like they know each other so well. So it'd be best bet if we do the sequence. Actually, well done. Now, Kill Switch uh, comeback. Was pretty decent. I like the, I like the fact that they did um, Kill Switch doing the comeback and everything. But, um, if I believe, yeah, he caught Sander. I apologize with the car in the background. Um, Kill um, Kill Switch got caught by um Sander with the comeback and turned right into an exploder suplex on the corner, which was very, which was pretty good, which was pretty nice. Um. GTS, I, if I believe, it was it, it was either, uh, see, I can't remember it, well, I probably gotta go back and look, but I don't wanna do that, cause I don't want cheating, so, I'm not gonna do that, but I know that, um, I think, yeah, I think it was Sander that was gonna get hit with a GTS by Kill Switch, but it got turned into a zigzag, which was, I can't, it was pretty. It was a pretty nice reversal. Um, now Andy gets back in, fighting. He comes back and he, you know, he's done. He did the GTS on, uh, yeah, on Sander, and one, two, three. Andy wins. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew that Andy was gonna win it. He's the original founder of the SCS, so I would think so. Now, moving on here. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, my gosh. The FAM Hardcore Championship. Pandorino and Roberto. How can I say about this match, man? This was... This was... When they went hardcore, they actually went hardcore. Oh, my gosh. Like, I... Uh, see, I got a little dizzy there talking, up, talking about... Already saying about this match. Um, let's just say that the match started off pretty good. It made it. It made it. I, I feel like this was like a, De, a David versus Goliath type of match, which was, which is good. Um, Pandorino um, during the match, he went for a suicide dive. He well connected the first one, but when he went for the second one, he got into a modified spine buster, which was. Beauty! That it was beauty. Um, earlier on in the match, you keep fighting back and on. Um, well, Roberto's kind of like taking over, but Pandorino finally finds a way to get um, Roberto choking into the rope at like near the corner. But what was beautifully done, the spot into the inverted Alabama slam was. I was like, oh, wow, ouch. But it was it looked it looked sick though. It was actually pretty sick. Um, later on during the match, uh, bow tie guy he came out. I guess he was trying to fill and he was doing a distraction against Roberto. And I'm here like, oh my god, run! Just whatever you do, run! Get out of there! Get out of there! Lights turn off. Roberto ended up being behind him, and he's like, uh oh. But which I forgot. Bow tie guy set up the table at the stage and everything. Jesus, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Pandorino climbed to the set. To the freaking set. Pulling a Shane McMahon. Climbing up the set. On top of the fan anniversary um, set, where the stage set, actually. Jump from the top of that onto Roberto on a table. On a freaking table. Jesus Christ, Pandorino, you scared the living crap out of me because I literally thought that Pandorino was going to miss that. And he did it. How he did it, I don't know, but he did it. And, oh my gosh, like, after that, Pandorino went for the pin. One, two, three. Pandorino is your new, new hardcore champion during the celebration. Well done, um, well done, well deserved. He actually deserved that. 
But wait a minute, out of nowhere, Darren DeStarly comes out, beats up Panarino, and beats him for the Hardcore Championship. I was like, wait, that can't be. He can't do that. He's not part of the FAM roster. Then I think again, I was like, oh, wait a minute. 24 7 rules. Of course, the Hardcore Championship will always have to be a 24 7 rule. So it has to happen no matter what. So again, there, so this, um, dastardly, I said dastardly, I hope I didn't say that, but dastardly became your new FAM Hardcore Champion. Well done, well done. It was actually a good plan just to, just to stay in FAM. Uh, now we have the FAM Global Championship, which is an argument versus element, which is element games from YouTube. Um, really, I, I really enjoyed this match, even though I don't like Element, I, like, even though I don't like Element, but I, I'm putting that to the side because knowing they put great matches, so I can't, you know, I can't complain from that, but, um, and Arkham's doing a great job working on the leg of Element, making sure that he doesn't get up, which is, very, again, which is a smart move, well done. Um, they almost got counted out, which I was afraid that was gonna happen. I was like, "Oh crap!" I hope the I hope both men are not get, being counted out from this. But they got back in the ring. Um, I like the fact that they both did the comeback. Um, standing up at the same time, that was actually pretty nice. Um, then again, Anarchimus, um, he came out with the victory. Well deserved, to be honest. That man works harder than anybody else in FAM in that place, and I'm so glad that happened. And you know, an argument he he deserves the the recognition that you know that he should have gotten a long time ago. Uh, now moving on, the Cyber FAM Championship. Oh my gosh. I'm remaining out of character on this one because I know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight Sean Nova or Alex. I'm gonna leave out of character on this one. In character, I'm just gonna yeah, out of character now. Sean Nova already fighting Darren. Introductions, of course. What the heck happens? He taunts in the corner. Yeah, yeah, you know. Then Darren tries to cheat with the belt, and, he, and you know, I don't know. I, I It kind of it saddens me a little bit to talk about this match, too, and I'll, I'll say the reasons why about that. Um, Nova may, um, I think, yeah, Darren already exposed the turnbuckle, but he was going to put Nova's head on it, but that got refused right away. Um, Nova turned that around. Boom, Darren's head already on the freaking, um, on the thing, it's bleeding. Boom, first fall victory, submission match, cross face. Boom, that's it, it's over. Sean Nova wins it, new Cyber FM champion. And Darren is out. Now, I did go on Twitter, and I was just looking at stuff. I was just, you know, I was just curious or whatever. This was, um... Apparently, this was a send-off to Darren out of character. I'm not talking about a character right now. I'm talking about out of character with Darren. Apparently, now Darren is done with the community. Um, he's uh, I mean, Within this hour right now, as I'm doing this review, he still hasn't made his tweet longer on why he he's leaving. But I, I'm going to guess because, you know, everything in life. I understand that everybody in life has bigger things to do um then again it saddens me it saddens me that a you know a great talented guy like darren to leave the community and you know it, it, it he's done so again good luck to you darren hope you do well man we and i and i'm i don't know why everyone else but de desperately from me i'm gonna miss you so much bro and I hope one day you come back. Alright. Good luck, man. Alright. Moving on. 
before we get a little emotional with that part. Um, we have, oh god, Rafazo versus Guns. Oh my gosh, man, like, I really thought that, I really didn't think this, this was gonna happen really good. I didn't even think it was gonna get, be a good match, but it actually turned out great. Um, there were, I didn't see, I mean, in my opinion, I didn't see as much spots. It was actually like a regular match with no spots. It was actually pretty sweet. Only two spots. The spider, um, the spear into the spider's web, which was pretty good. And it was, and Guns was still coming back. He's fighting, he's fighting. He's doing everything he can to fight back. Um, then, you know, Rafaza Okor grabs the chair, puts on the floor. He got nailed with the chair. It's, I don't know why he did it, but it was actually smartness because Guns was going for a spear. He hits the spear, but he DDT'd himself on the freaking chair. Why? Wasn't there another spot? Can you just pull him out from the... Oh my gosh. I was like, why? Why did this happen? So Rafazo, Rafazo won with the victory. He pretty darn shocked me with that win. Um, which was pretty crazy. Now, moving on here, we got the Diamonds FAM, I mean the FAM Diamonds Championship. Wait, actually no, let's let's rewind before that happened. We had L saying that we're going to see the wicked thing. L stealing my freaking nicknames, I see. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, L. Uh, if you're watching this, I'm just kidding. I just call myself the wicked assassin for Zach Sanchez, but yeah, moving on. Um, moving on on this. Um, L was just saying, watch out for something, and, and I'm uh, and I'll explain later on what on what is what she was talking about. But yeah, we'll explain that later on. Um, now, the FAM Diamonds Championship match, the the entrance of two random ladies coming out with Mohawks, and I was like, that's gotta be Jin. There's no way. I was a little bit creeped out. What I was looking at, but it was actually pretty sick. And again, it's, I'm supporting. I'm so I'm supporting my good friend that deserved to be in that spot. Um, now we got Eve that comes out with a very nice entrance, different hairstyle, which, which is whoa. <laughs> and Vikel, of course, coming out. And uh, let me just say, I don't care. Um, let me just say that I I was so curious on. I was so curious on this. I want to go ahead and check on the chat. Mm -mm, mm -mm. People were not happy with Vikel. I saw racist. I saw booing. The hate she got was so bad. I mean, other than that, I'm not going to go ahead and mention that. Oh, yeah, another thing. Please stop it. To those guys that are watching FAM and you're a fan of it, but you're just being a troll. Stop it with the Chris Dangerous thing. He's not in FAM. He's not coming to FAM. He didn't agree to come to FAM. He only agreed one time, and that was Cyber FAM, um, Cyber Fam Day. Boom. Bottom line. There you go. You had Chris Danger. Move on. Moving on. During the match, um, this is what got me mad because I didn't get to see all of it because I had to go get down and get my food that I ordered. But, um, other than that, I got to the halfway point. Everybody, oh, this match was really good. I love the fact that, um, instead of having Vikel being pinned, they actually made Eve being pinned, and, you know, Jen won, and I was so happy. Like, she just, I mean, she deserves all the credit to the world. She deserves, um, being on the, uh, being on fan anniversary, and she deserves to be Diamond Champion. I'm so happy for her. This was a big moment. Um, and I was really curious. I don't want to say it's the right thing that FAM did, but I don't know if this was pre, I don't know if it was already recorded or not recorded, but I think it was the right thing for FAM to make Vikel drop the belt because after everything that happened, but I'm not going to say any more about that because, you know, that's none of my business and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to like make her feel bad if she's watching this, I don't want her to 
feel like that. Um, be right back, guys. Again, we're about to go um, stop this and re-record this. Okay, so I'm back. Um, then again, let's just see. What, let's just see what happens later on in the future about that uh, Diamonds Championship. Now we go ahead and we got oh boy, one of the one of the three main events: Two TM versus Black Heron. Oh, oh my God! It's how much. Oh my gosh! Like my hair is a mess today. Like I can't even do anything about that. Holy, holy, holy crap! I mean, I know I'd used Merc for Atlas yet um two days ago for his special um just for a special appearance, and he wanted me to use the red, which I I totally understand why he wanted me to. His fam anniversary entrance. Oh my god, man! Yo, it was sick. I loved it. It was. I, I'm not sure if I'm right or wrong with this, but the side, I mean, the side of his face right here, in my opinion, it reminded me of Bleach. Now, he could correct me if I'm wrong, which is fine, I understand. Right here in the side, I mean, the, the right side of his face where the paint was at, reminded me so much from the anime called Bleach. Well done, I loved it. It was so sick. It made, it made him look like not only a god, but a gothic type of person, which was, oh, it was beautiful. Um, BH's entrance. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't. Like, these entrances were pretty sweet. I actually like the fact that they pulled off a little bit of Stephanie and Triple H with the announcing thing, but it had, like, a video package with it. Well done. BH's attire was on freaking point. Now, I know he said that it took months for him to do this attire, but, oh, I think those months were worth it. I don't know how he does it with these freaking masks. I, I really don't, but he knows a way to make it look pretty decent. Uh, now, both men, now, I gotta go look on Twitter real quick on something, but both men looked very, very good. Now, of course, during the match, they're fighting each other and everything. And we got the skill foundation coming out. And I put, <laughs> I was so, I was like so mad. I was like, really? Come on. Leave the skill foundation out of this because they don't deserve to be part of this match. But, of course, BH just takes them out. Uh, I apologize. Uh, I'm just looking at something real quick. Okay, never mind. I, I apologize. It was something on Twitter that was important. Uh, I thought it was important, but it wasn't. Um, but of course, um, BH takes, um, BH takes, um, freaking skill foundation out. I forgot how he put the first one out, but I know for sure though, he just powerbombed the heck out of CS? I think, yeah, it was CS that landed on the table by a powerbomb, which was pretty decent. Uh, now, 2TM is beating the heck out of, beating the heck out of BH, and he even puts on a silver armor, which was pretty sick. I actually like that. That was very creative. I didn't never think that uh, armor like that was going to be used in a match, and he got splashed with it twice, for crying out loud. BH saying, no, he doesn't quit. He keeps fighting. He's fighting. He's never giving up. Um... Now, let me just say, this was actually beautiful. I didn't think of this. That, the Falcon Arrow that uh, BH was doing from the top rope, ja um, which was Falcon Arrow, turned into Jackhammer, which was well done, man. Like, I've, I don't know, man. Like, these, I, I don't know how many more spots can they create, because that was sick. But yeah, they did, um, BH was doing the Jackhammer into, um, um, ah, Falcon Arrow into a jackhammer, which was pretty decent during out the match. Um, of course, PH is, of course, later on in the match saying, no, 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 he's not going to give up. Um, let me say this. This was pretty, this was pretty neat. Twisted reaction turned into the cross face. Well done. Well done. That was, bro, I never got my hypes up so high. 
And I was like, yes, 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 yes. Quit, 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 quit. Like, I've never been so hyped from that part. I've, I've never been so hyped in a match in, like that good on FAM. Um, then again, I, Merck did a, a, DD, a DDT ape, um, on the apron where the LED board is at. Then he freaking kicks BH's head off on the darn wrestling pole. I mean, on the darn pole. The man's unconscious. He can't say one thing. One thing at all. And the referee is telling Merck, like, okay, that's enough. I don't think he I don't think he can continue no more. Merck was like, <laughs> nope, he has to say the two words, I quit. Gonna beat the heck out of him. Grabs a sledgehammer. Well, he beats the heck out of him. And he grabs a sledgehammer. My god, Eve came out saying, please stop it, stop it, stop it. Didn't think that was going to happen. I did not think Merck... Oh, my gosh. I was really scared. Merck actually grabbed... Like, he went for the sledgehammer. Went outside the ring. Went in front of Eve. Who I really thought... I really thought that Merck was going to hit Eve. I was like... Yo, if Merck does this, he is... He is savage all the way. But, of course, BH stopped it. Beating the heck out of Merck. He t- I think, yeah, he took off the mask and he put it on Merck. Pa 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 Punches, punches, punches right in the corner. Black and gold powerbomb. Punt to the head. Bleeding on the ear. For crying out loud. Bleeding on an ear. The last time I've seen bleeding on an ear was a real life match with the Hell in a Cell with DX, Vince McMahon, Triple H. And when um Triple H got coast to coast and the freaking uh, trash can... His ear was bleeding from it. I have never seen that. Like, I haven't seen that in a while. But I'm so glad that th- that was so beautiful. Then it got turned into... Then it got turned into a um, cross face again. And Merck said the two words, I quit. So BH defeated um, Merck by saying those two words. Now, let me just say this. Another thing. Them, that pro wrestling t-shirt that they got coming out with Eve and BH looks sick. I'm definitely thinking about buying it. I'm No, screw thinking. I'm buying that shirt. That shirt was... Oh, my gosh. All right. Now, moving on. Now, we got Team Gordon Perkins versus Team Tom Cushney. Um, Brandon Young, I, I believe that's his name. Brandon Young is talking, trash talking. He gets eliminated by Mr. Big Show Off. Um, yeah, actually, he got rolled up. Then, then of course, um, Brandon got mad. He attacked the uh, freaking Show Off. JB comes in. He eliminated. Uh, no, J. I'm not sure who it was. I think it was JB. JB eliminated. Um, he eliminated. Mr. Big Show Off, Tony Pizza Guy and JB are going at it. They're fighting each other. Later on the match, I guess that Tony Pizza Guy got frustrated that he hit the chair to freaking JB. He DQ'd himself. But Smack Talk comes in. He just, I I believe he only did the red arrow and boom, got, and he pinned uh, JB and he got eliminated. Um, now we got, now we got uh, freaking out of nowhere. Uh, Delzinski. Not only Delzinski, we got broken Delzinski. What the wild hair? I was like, I was like, what the is that? What is that? It's broken Delzinski, but um, he attacked Smack Talks, but he took him with him. Like he kidnapped the man. Oh, and speaking about kidnapping, poor Mister Sicko, man. Rest in peace. He got killed by Chef BJ Grund. I can't believe that. Poor, poor freaking sicko. Even though I'm mentioning this later on during a match. Now we got both It's My Yard dummies going at it. They both laugh and they both ended up leaving, of course. They're not going to fight each other. Um, now we got Legend. Oh, uh, we got Legend and... Oh, crap. Who was he fighting at first? I forgot his name. Oh, yeah. We had Legend versus Grimm's Toy, uh, Grimm's Toy Show. 
Legend is, oh my god, I didn't think he was that good. Already doing a, uh, Graham already doing the spaceman plunge up, like I caught right into a, po um, into a body slam, which was pff, really good on the spot right there. Um, Legend ended up eliminating Graham's toy show by the help of Tubby Emu. Of course, because their their rivalry rivalry is never over. Now we got Perkins coming out. They're both fight. Um, he's fighting Legend. Uh, Legend took out the ref by an accident, and Gore just, just Gore just came in and he gored. Um, he gored Legend and Perkins eliminated Legend by the gore. Um, now let's just say this. Now Tom Cushing comes out thinking he's gonna surprise us and everything. He, Tom Cushney walks out with Wrestle Talk. That was pretty crazy. I didn't think they were ever going to be on FAM. They walk out with them, but they turned against him, and that was funny. I laughed my butt out because I hate Tom Cushney's character so much. Um, but I laughed my butt off of that. And, uh, yeah, it, it was just hilarious. I, I loved it so much. And um, Perkins just fighting... Cushney is giving him punishment. He Perkins eliminated himself by hitting Cushney with the with the um, bat and everything. Then here comes Gore. Then Gore and Perkins take the win, and Team Gore and Perkins win. Pretty much, it was solid. I didn't, even though I don't, well, I don't like the YouTubers as much, but I mean, I I watch their videos and everything. But I'm talking about like an FAM style. It's just I don't know. The YouTubers are going a bit downhill for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're more focused on the FAM guys. Uh, now the bury the hatchet two match. Whoo man, man! How could I say about this match? It had a slow match. Started slow. It's fine. I understand. I wish it didn't start slow, but you know what? It's a bury hatchet rematch, so of course it's gonna start off slow. Both men really, um, both men started off slow. They got to a rise to build. Where it got to build was that Virtue was going to do a, I don't even know, an elbow or a splash on the announce table on Bash. Then Bash moved out of the way and freaking Nick Virtue ate the table. Feel bad for that guy. Um, Bash takes his time bringing Virtue back in. Couldn't believe it. He's like, what? How is that not over? Um, but, um, you know, it, it got really good. Um, let me say another spot. German suplexes. Suplex City on the game. Very well done. It's German, 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 but hooking on. Turns him around like, you know, the Rainmaker from NJPW. I thought that was something like that was going to happen. No. Turns him around. Whoop. Bah. Bash bottom. One, two, kick out. Didn't think Virtue was going to kick out of that. It got me so scared. Like, I, oh, gosh. Um, what else? Because I'm looking at my notes here, and I'm trying to remember remember this so much. Um, oh, yeah, Bash was going for a super kick. He was trying to mock Virtue. He's like, come on, get up, get up. As soon as Bash was going for it, bah, Virtue, get, um, Virtue hits Bash. Bash on with the super kick. Now that was karma. That was so karma. Um, but Panda one two kick out. Oh my gosh! And I, I couldn't even believe that. Now um, later on in the match, freaking Virtue hits Bash bottom on Bash, and Bash kicked out. And I'm here like, oh my gosh, yo, this, this is. So much for Barry. I mean, it's not as brutal as Barry the Hatchet, but this was a very well done, well done match already. During, like as a freaking halfway, uh, both men, um, both men are standing up. Virtue's telling him to bring it. Um, then they both run at each other. Then Bash got caught with another super kick. One, two, but boom! Bash used the rope. To get the rope break. And I was like, oh, that sucks. And everything. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize for that. Um, 
But yeah, now let me uh, let me pause this real quick because holy cow, this review is going over an hour talking about this. So let's go ahead and let me pause this. Okay, so we're back. But yeah, oh my gosh, man, it was just crazy. Now, oh, I, yeah, it was just some out of words on this one. Bash was, um, I thought Bash was gonna go for the attitude adjustment. Caught him, put him up, no. Swings him around and bah! Bash bottom, right into Bash bottom, which was pretty sick. I actually like the way how they did that. Even though it's a fireman's carry switch turnaround, I forgot what it's called, but I know, um, the person I know, Nicole Hale, uses that, and she calls it Hailstorm, but actually, Bash finished it off, and they call it the Bash bottom, uh, fireman's carry into, uh, Bash bottom, which was pretty sweet. Now, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The main event, Ron Buster versus Rank, and I have to make this a bit short, because I can't go over 60 minutes. Um, anything goes, career... Career versus power. My God. Oh, my God. Rannick. Match starts. Rannick just. Bah! He's like, what? Trash? Whoop. That's it. Threw Rom from the ring to the announce table. What? This man has some powers or something. I don't know. Rom got up. Got back in the ring. Uh, You know. They're both going at it. Of course, Rannick's taking over a little bit. Another thing, Rom, one advice, even though I know you watch this review thing all the time, one advice, don't ever break dance against Ren. <laughs> Why? Why in the whole entire world would you break dance against Ren right in front of Rennick, man? That was just plain stupid. Anyways, um Oh crap. Um oh yeah, this was um yeah, this was Rom doing this. I actually love the fact this spot was so beautiful. Sunset flip power bomb into um, Rom's pile driver. Woo! That was well done. Well freaking done, man. That was just a thing of beauty, like a thing of beauty. Um, another thing, X-ray right into the F5, which. Tribute to Manslinger. I really miss that dude. I wish he can come back. Um, both men, I think both men stood up. They um, run at each other. And freaking ran and caught Rom into Lisa. But kicked out. Everybody was like, what? It was my face. I was like, what? No way. Um, Rom did the GTS into the sleeping pill, Rennick kicked out. That was the same way that Darren lost to Ron, but Darren's like, nah, nope, not falling for that. You did that once, you ain't doing it twice to me. Um, oh my gosh. Freaking, um, Ron ran into Rennick. Rennick put him up in the air, and soon Ron falls down. Bah, X-ray. X-ray happened, and freaking... Rennick leaned on the corner. He's like, oh, shoot. He's stunned. Ron puts him up. Pedigree on the top. One, two, three. Rom finally, finally, finally did it. He got the power that he wanted for so long. He finally, like, he got the power back what he needed. Oh, my gosh. I was shocked. I didn't think it was going to, I mean... Oh, I don't. I don't remember what I said in my prediction, but I I was shocked. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I didn't think he put the unpredict. He put the unpredictable. Never thought in my whole entire life that that was ever 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 gonna happen. Ron celebrated, collapsed out of nowhere, and um, I guess that he uh, Brannick is staring down at his brother. He, he's like looking, and I'm here like, okay. Then Romare out of nowhere, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, something's happened in the back, something's happened in the back. Everyone's getting attacked. Every good guy and bad guy and FAM, never, and FAM was getting attacked. I can't remember at all. But I know, Nova attacked Darren. Weird. They already don't like each other. Scale Foundation gets jumped by... 
either Resurgence or the Britman. I don't know. But I know the Britman jumped someone. Uh, Rafazo got jumped by this uh, dastardly. Um, this is crazy. Sean, no. I'm, I mean, again, this is in character. This is in character. Sean, no, but I'm going to kick your ass in ROX. Okay, out of character. But yeah, this is just crazy. And Archimus comes out uh, with Death Angel and Cameron Bass. Bro, I don't even know what's going Even, Even L. L gave us the hint, too. She said, watch when something bad happens. L attacks Vikel. No, yeah, uh, Vikel. And Jin attacks Eve. What? I couldn't believe it. Jin turning heel. I was like, yo, Jin, why? Why? Oh my god, I'm even gonna say this. I, I can't say this and party with you. Why? Why did you join them? Like, oh my god, like, I couldn't believe it, man. Like, ugh. I couldn't believe it. And I think it was because, I think that was Mer. Wasn't it saying, wasn't it BH something saying about Abel or something like that? About the comp, I mean, no, the company or whatever. I'm not sure. Bash puts out the story. Bash puts out the story saying that, ah, oh, that no one cared about me. So who was, so of course we put someone in for, for us. You know who we put in? Death's Angel. That was a reason why Death's Angel put the Pandora box. He won it, but he gave it to Bash. Bash returned. Rennick came back. But that's in, in Bash's mind. He said it was good. Because it puts everything on the sideline thinking, for oh, who cares on what Cameron Bash is doing, as he said it in his words. Um. Then, out of nowhere, he says, then what was the time to do it? When he finally lost power. His first recruit, Anarchimus, he thought that he was getting screwed over all the time. Even though I agreed with that. But I didn't think he was going to do a heel thing. Um, then, of course, Death Angel. Um, the Resurgence. I, I, don't, I don't remember the reason with the Resurgence. Uh, Jin, of course, knowing, being the new star, deserve what she's done for the company so far. Um, Elle feels betrayed from... Her um, for people caring, um, not caring on what she does anymore. Uh, oh crap! I'm losing train of thought right now. Um, Sean Nova, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh no, they did not just put Nova to be heel. Like, I can't believe this. Th this ain't happening. There's no way this is happening right now. They put Nova heel. Um. I just, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe it, man. Like, now there's a new group and there's an invasion storyline. And Cameron Bash finally says it. They are AWOL. Now, what's AWOL? I have no idea. This was just something, a shocking turn of events. It escalated so quickly that all this time, Rennick saying that he's saving the company. We didn't believe him. That's the crazy thing. We didn't believe Rennick. We didn't even believe what word he said. But everything, he told the truth. Now, early prediction. Even Cyber Fan Day is coming up. There has to be something. This is this is probably scary to say. I'm sorry. Rom, Rennick have to team up. They have to team up. There's no explaining this. There's no way. Ron, B, um, Rannick, BH, um, just all the good guys and the bad guys that were heel in FAM, they have to team up now. They, they got to. They, they have to. Uh, there was a lot of double turns, then everything. They have to team up. They, they just have to. I was just, you, you, there's no way. There's no way you can go away with this. But if they're going to make a Road to Cyber Fam Day thing on 2K18, they better darn well expect me watching it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I went, I gave everything. I wrote my notes. I wrote story. I wrote spots. I gave you the analysis on everything that has happened in this pay-per-view. I gave it my all on this one. Now, 
what happens from here? Well, let's just say, hopefully, and by God, hopefully, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen in the review competition. I really... Even though, you know, I was in, I was in a one-time parent by FAM, but, you know, I'm... Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna show them how much I want to be there and how much dedication and how and the pride of me trying to get in it. But other than that, I'm not gonna put that. I'm not gonna put that in this type of predicament. I have to wait until what happens next. So then again, thank you very much, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Fam people, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, Maybe YouTubers. I'm not sure if YouTubers watch this too. I hope you guys enjoy it, guys. I'm not. I'm. I'm telling you this right now. No music. No nothing. No special intro effect. This was just a plain review talking about everything. And I, I didn't want to be too fancy with it. But yeah. I'll see you guys later. Be safe. We will see you guys. Cyber Fam Day. Well, first of all, Fami Awards. I don't even understand how that's gonna happen already. But I will see you guys in those dates later.